Hello everyone, my name is Thomas klecher faure and today I would like to give you a brief overview of my life setup. My life setup contains three different parts and the first one and most important one being the MIDI controller. As my setup grew larger and more complex I have had to add more than one MIDI controller to still be able to control everything in Ableton Live. My main controller is the Mallet Cat by Alternate Mode. For me, as a mallet player, it was the obvious choice, not only because it plays like the real instrument, but also gives me so many MIDI parameters that I can send to Ableton Live that I hardly need any other controller. My second controller is the Behringer FCB 1010, which is a MIDI foot controller with 10 pads and two expression paddles. My third controller is the Korg Nano Control 2 or an app called LK Live Control by Imaginado Systems. The great thing about the LK app is that it's not only working as a live controller but also has a complete set of MIDI controls in there. It's not only for tablets like Android or iPad but it also works on phones nowadays. Due to the fact that it's transmitting over Wi-Fi there are no physical limitations. For example, in one situation we have the audience control the audio in and output. The second part of my live setup is my computer and my software. I use Ableton Live software. I've been working with Ableton almost since the beginning, since it was just a MIDI program. And its development in the last years have been a really big contribution to electronic music and at least for me, a way to look at my computer, not just as a sound source, but as a legitimate instrument. Ableton Live has a really great MIDI mapping mode, though there are some things you can't do in Ableton via MIDI. For example, you can't delete and you can't undo. Two really necessary things while looping. Therefore, you need another little program, which is called Bohm's MIDI Translator. With this MIDI translator, you can emulate keystrokes, mouse movements, almost everything. And the third thing, of course, being me as an artist. Now let's have a look at my live template. As you can see, there are three different categories of tracks. The first one being the synth track. Within these first tracks, there are all the MIDI instruments I need. Track one contains all my mallet instruments, like vibes, marimba, and an e-piano. Then we have a pad track, we have a lead track and we have a special track, uh, an add-on with some piano, a bass, percussion and a drum track. All of these tracks are controlled by the Mallet Cat. Just a quick detour on what the Mallet Cat actually is. The Mallet Cat is not only one keyboard controller but actually two separate MIDI controllers built inside. You can switch those MIDI controls by using a foot paddle. Both MIDI controllers can be set up to use different octaves, velocities, gate time, um, volume and of course a bank. So you can play two completely different instruments just by depressing the foot paddle. But you can also join those two sounds, you can split those two sounds. And there's the fourth option, you can turn the second controller into a giant pitch bend wheel. Or you can turn all the black keys on your Mallet Cat into sliders or ribbon controllers by using the RTC, the Real Time Controller menu. So on a 4 octave Mallet Cat you can have up to 15 different controllers with CC messages running through. But that's definitely not all of it. The Mallet Cat has 127 individual programs and since version 6 it is possible to send a CC message while switching the program. For example, in Ableton Live, there's a really nice gimmick. You can put as many instruments as you like into one track, into an instrument group. And the good thing about these instruments rack is that it doesn't matter how many instruments you put in there, they don't use up any CPU time unless you activate them. So, sending one CC message while switching the program on the Mallet Cat, you can switch different instruments in your instrument rack. But still, there is more. For example, you have two optional foot controllers on your Mallet Cat. Controlling, for example, the modulation of a sound. Each octave on the Mallet Cat is basically set up to do the same thing just to different tracks. For example, notes C to A are used to launch slots 1 to 6. 
B is a tap in control. C sharp is to arm or disarm the track. D sharp is to stop the track. F sharp is the monitoring option, which is really nice if you want to preview your material before sending it to the main stage. G sharp is the mute button. The A sharp or B flat is the undo button, which has to run through Bohm's MIDI translator. So each octave controls one track in Ableton Live. There's a master octave, as I like to call it, where you can go left and right, up and down, and turn on and off the metronome, or for example, overdub and record into a new clip. The same goes for the FCB 1010. Pad 1 to 4 controls slot 1 to 4. Pad 5 is the undo button. Pad 6 is arm or disarm. Pad 7, stop. Pad 8, monitoring. Pad 9, mute. And Pad 10 is the tap in. I can control the master volume or the track volume by using the expression paddles. The second group are the audio inputs. There are three audio inputs, each controlling a phrase looper. So, for example, if there is an audio signal, I can record this on a looper and still process it to the next track, the red track. Within the audio input, of course, you can put a whole number of other audio effects. The third group are the return tracks. I've given it a great deal of thought. Of course, you can put as many audio effects you like onto each single track, but how are you able to control them? There would be far too many MIDI messages running around. So instead of putting each single effect on one track, I thought, which would be the best effects you need? A reverb, a delay, a chorus and a filter. I can control each sound of each track via Mallet Cat or, for example, the Nano Control. If I like one special sound, I can record this into the processed channel. The processed channel is one special return and sound combination. With all those continuous control messages I can send via my RTC on the Mallet Cat or the expression pedals on my FCB or the Nano Control or the LK, I can control almost every parameter in life, like volume, like tone, frequencies, EQs. As you can see, this setup is very flexible and can be used in different situations. It's expandable, for example, if there's another musician, my guitar player, for example, he can control with his FCB 1010 or any other controller, not only his tracks, but also my tracks. Vice versa, of course. So thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will do more in-depth videos for the Mallet Cat for the Ableton Live system or for example for LK, the live controller by Imaginado Systems. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.